Robert Milltown for the Ramsey Classic Motor Show and it's an event where it's attracted lots of different vehicles I have to say with me is uh, Neil to talk about it. Uh, a new location, a new event? A new location uh, for Ramsey. We used to be at uh, the Murrook Park and this is the first time here at the invitation of Paul Ogden of uh, Milltown Estate and we're very happy to be here. What a great location it is, isn't it? A wonderful location, sheltered and, uh, and just about the right size for us. Now you're part of Jaguar group aren't you as such yes. but uh, you, you end up organizing this understand uh, we're organizing it on behalf of the federation which is a collective of all the uh, the historic and cherished vehicle uh, car and motorcycle clubs and indeed tractor clubs on the isle of man okay we'll take us through some of the highlights here today uh, well, the highlights, of case, are all the, uh, the the Jaguars. We have about two dozen Jaguars here, but uh, amongst the highlights, we have uh, a couple of uh, pre-war Bentleys um, uh, just uh, um, just arrived. We even have a Volkswagen um, uh, bus, as they call them, a camper van. Uh, the classic Ford owner, owners' clubs are here with uh, Sierra Cosworth um, and uh, Ford Capri. We have uh, more modern machinery in the shape of the Lamborghini and a modern uh, Ford uh, Mustang over there. Uh, and a couple of, I think the island's only two Austin A35s. And I was going to ask you that, are, are they all island-based, these cars? All these cars are island-based. Apart, We have a couple of visitors with mm. the Jaguar Club, but yes, all island-based, um, uh, including uh, all of... Uh, all of the Porsches over there, they're all a, a local a local region of the Porsche Owners Club. So, uh, yes, we, we have a, a very thriving um, classic and vintage vehicle scene on the Isle of Man. How old cars have to be before they become classic or vintage? <laughs> uh, there is a definition for vintage, which I, uh, which I now forget. Vintage yeah. and veteran have their own definitions. A classic is open to interpretation. So you might have um, uh, a Vauxhall Viva, um, which was a, a ve very much an ordinary everyday car, but would now be regarded as a classic because of its rarity, so few have survived. And yet, conversely, we have here a, a brand new um, modern uh, F-type Jaguar, which... Uh, which uh, could be widely regarded as uh, as a classic. Um, not forgetting, of course, the Triumph Motorcycle Club. They've got some modern Triumphs over there, but uh, it's a question of design, taste, uh, and the following that they have that uh, defines a classic. And any stab at which was the most expensive one here? <laughs> Almost certainly the modern Lamborghini, um, but uh, the pre-war Bentleys, um, we have a, a beautiful old Model T Ford, which is almost certainly the oldest, uh, I think it is, the oldest car we have here today. Um, yes, I, th I think the Lambo uh, and, um, uh, and possibly a couple of the E-Type Jags. I see a Series, uh, a series 1 uh, mm. fixed head E-Type Jaguar over there and they're, they're incredibly popular as well. Great. Well, you must be pleased with the turnout. Yes. Delighted with the turnout. We've got a few yet to come. The Rolls Royce and Bentleys have yet to arrive. So uh, yes, we're very, very pleased, and again, very, very grateful to Milntown for uh, hosting this event today. Mm -hmm.